Welcome, bienvenue, thank you for watching Diversity TV Bilingual Community Newscast for July 29, 2022. This edition is sponsored by uh, Rezi Plumbing and Heating, now offering fantastic deals for water, heaters and furnaces. Vous retrouverez à la fin de la partie en langue anglaise, le résumé en langue française. Eric Estrada, the new face running the Albert Avenue Businesses Association. Eric is the new executive director of the one of Edmonton's most diverse business district. Everybody, my name is Eric Estrada. I'm the new executive director of the Business Association. Uh, and I'm looking forward to work with all the business in the district. Mr. Estrada has been an Edmontonian for nine years after moving from Mexico to study English and business management at Northern Alberta Institute of Technology. His work experiences include working with NET in the Student Engagement Department and the NET Students Association, and most recently, as the Finance and Operation Coordinator at the Canadian Mental Health Association. He is the recipient of the Spirit of Net Alumni Award for his work in mental health, advocacy for international students, and support of immigrant entrepreneurs. An Alberta Avenue resident and active community member, he currently holds the role of treasurer of the Alberta Avenue Community League. Eric wants to connect with the business community in the Alberta Avenue neighborhood of Edmonton. A lot of our, our neighbors uh, and businesses in the area are very welcoming and, and I'm very happy to work with everybody. He's very keen of meeting the business owners and has already been door knocking in the area. Community New Corner on Diversity TV, Community Announcement. In Diversity Travel this week, we take you to two beautiful Edmonton Parks, Buena Vista Park and Sir Wilfred Laurier Park. Buena Vista Park is located on the north bank of the river adjacent to Sir Wilfred Laurier Park. Buena Vista means beautiful view in Spanish and is home to a large and popular off -leach dog area and numerous multi-use trails. It is also home to Horat House, the city's New Year's rental facilities, which is available for year-round bookings. See Wilfrid Laurier Park, more commonly known as Laurier Park, is located in Edmonton's West End. Situated on the north bank of the river, the park extends from Whitemoor Drive in the west of Buena Vista Drive in the east. The park is named after Canada's eighth Prime Minister, Sir Wilfrid Laurier. It has many picnic sites, two natural playgrounds, and a boat launch as some of the amenities for users to enjoy. For more fun places to visit this summer, please go to www.diversitymark.ca. Becoming dear future, I'm ready. Tickets available at $50, date and time, Saturday 10, September 2022, 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Sponsorship opportunities, vendor tables, and even magazine all available. If you are interested to find out more, please contact Grassoben at 403-608-2836 or send an email to providenceguy7 at gmail.com. You are watching Community News on Diversity TV. BCW in action, one of the most fastest growing black organizations in Canada, officially opened its new office in Calgary on June 3, 2022. What's next on BCW? From September 30th to October 1st, 2022, BCW will present Prairie Expo, a gathering of experts in finance, investors, business experts, pitch competition, networking to finish off with a gala. The top six businesses in the pitch competition will be picked to present their pitch 
to business espace organizers and fellow entrepreneurs at the Expo on October 1st, 2022. The price range from $1,000 to $5,000. For more information on how to register, please contact info at bcwinaction.ca. In other community news on diversity community time, Sinkunia Community Development Organization recognized by Rotary International President with a visit. On July 9th, Sinkunia was honored by a visit from Jennifer Jones, the new Rotary International President, who was making a cross-Canada tour. She is the first woman and a Canadian in that role. She selected Sinkunia as one of her 13 stops. Sinkunia Community Development Organization is working in solidarity with two local Rotary clubs. Rotary members are sharing their networks, resources, and vocational skills, including grant writing. Sinkunia board chair Funke Smith extended a beautiful welcome to Rotary, the many distinguished guests and families. She also shared the word Ubuntu, which was experienced by those in attendance. Fatmata can receive a Rotary scholarship. This Friday, July 29, 2022, Canavoa will be providing fresh fruits and veggies. Should you want to pick up a free bag or have a big heart to volunteer, please go to www. In another development, Infinity Safety Awareness distributes every Sunday free bread at 11015 82nd Avenue, Berkeley parking lot every Sunday from 11 a.m. onwards. You are watching Diversity TV. We usually try a dish at the festival, but the amazing Edmonton Carnival 2022 host Paul Lazerpa introduced us to the delicious tamales wrapped in banana leaves and tacos pasta, the only tacos flavor with lime and pineapple. Welcome to Edmonton Carnaval on 118 Avenue and 93 Street in Edmonton. Enjoy Latin culture with this year's focus on Mexico. My name is Paula Serpan and this is Edmonton Carnaval. This year we're celebrating Mexico. This is generally a carnival where we celebrate Latin culture. But this year we specifically chose Mexico because we want to do a tribute to Frida Kahlo, which was a very, very embracing powerful woman that teaches how to embrace our culture embrace our pain embrace every single situation that we are living carlos community at coffee house with christy maureen celebrating 15th anniversary of promoting art and community in the alberta avenue neighborhood of edmonton founded on volunteer power Today we are celebrating Chalk It Up Street Party on 118 Avenue, 94th Street, as well as the Carrot Community Arts Coffee House turns 15 years old. The significance of the Carrot Community Arts Coffee House was something that was birthed out of the desire from the community. Everything was shut down on 118 Avenue after 6 p.m. and no one had anywhere to go other than a couple of large restaurants. So we as community got together and said let's do something that we can do as volunteers. So the Community Arts Coffee House is actually run by volunteers. We have now a couple of staff that uh, support it as well. And we see music and, and arts happening all week long throughout the whole entire year. So it's a big celebration and hats off to the volunteers, to our board with Arts on the app, and the community of Alberta Ave District, the Business Association, everybody working together to see the care continue to thrive. We also just know that our community after the pandemic really needed this support of getting connected again, seeing each other, neighbors coming out and sharing and laughing and dancing and having a great time together. So uh, it sort of is uh, just the beginning of a beautiful thing in, in 2022. 
BCW and CIA say two hearts are better than one. Black Canadian woman in action and Canadian imperial advantage decided to harness the strengths and ability of their respective organization to organize a networking business mixer with emphasis on finance. The sell-out event took place on July 22, 2022 at the Marriott Hotel in the Ice District of Edmonton and attracted professionals from the field of businesses, finance, marketing and many more. A thank you note from BCW Reads. Special shout out to Canadian Imperial Advantage for partnering us to create such an event. We are so elated to have spent an evening filled with connection, learning and empowerment. You will be curious what is next on BCW Radar, right? BCW is offering an opportunity to those with a business idea to pitch to business experts and win one of three prizes ranging from $1,000 to $5,000. The pitch session will take place on July 29 and selected contestants will move forward to the pitch competition during the BCEW 2022 Expo. And finally, what major celebration is Edmonton Gretchen involved in this way? The Light Level Bridge in Edmonton Lights are lit every night to celebrate community events. Here are the special requests in this week. July 25th, red, green and blue for World Drawing Prevention Day. July 26th, green, white and red for Iglesia Ni Cristo Church of Christ Day. July 27, pink, orange, and yellow for K-Days. July 30th, red and green for the Throne Day of Morocco. July 31st, red, yellow, and blue for Heritage First. See all this information in edmonton.ca slash the bridge. Merci de suivre ce bulletin d'information communautaire sur Diversity TV pour ce vendredi 29 juillet 2022. Voici Eric Estrada, le nouveau visage de la Alberta Avenue Business Association. Eric est le nouveau directeur général de l'un des quartiers d'affaires les plus diversifiés d'Edmonton. Résident de l'avenue Alberta et membre actif de la communauté, il occupe actuellement le poste de trésorier de l'Alberta Avenue Community League. Eric souhaite établir des liens avec la communauté des affaires d'Alberta Avenue à Edmonton. Il est très impliqué pour rencontrer les propriétaires d'entreprises et a déjà fait du porte-à-porte -porte dans ce sens. Une conférence intitulée « Becoming Dear Future I'm Ready » est prévue pour samedi 10 septembre 2022 de 10h à 16h à Hôtel Blackfoot situé à 5940 Blackfoot Trail SE Calgary. Les billets d'entrée sont en vente à raison de 50 dollars le billet. Vous êtes prié de contacter Grasse au 403 608 2836 ou bien envoyer un email à Providence Guide 7 à gmail.com pour devenir sponsor, faire de la publicité ou tout simplement réserver votre stand d'exposition. BCW in Action vous invite à Prairie Expo. Nous ne pouvions pas attendre plus longtemps pour présenter cette toute première exposition. Si vous êtes entrepreneur noir et que vous souhaitez développer votre entreprise, c'est l'endroit idéal où vous devrez y être. Du 30 septembre au 1er octobre 2022, l'Expo des Prairies réunira des experts en finance, des investisseurs, des experts en affaires, un concours de pitch du réseautage et se terminera pas un grand gala. Réservez votre place. Et c'est tout ce que nous avions pour vous pour cette semaine pour nous permettre de continuer à vous apporter des histoires inédites de la communauté multiculturelle. Soutenez Diversity TV en devenant membre aujourd'hui et profitez des offres spéciales réservées aux membres. Visitez le site www.diversitymar.ca. Soyez aussi les premiers à recevoir notre bulletin d'information dès qu'il est diffusé. Nous sommes présents sur Facebook, sur Instagram, sur LinkedIn et sur TikTok. Notre site web, encore une fois, 
c'est www.diversitymag.ca. Je vous remercie d'avoir été des nôtres. À la prochaine édition. This is all we had for you this week. Thank you for watching Diversity TV, bilingual community newscast. This edition is sponsored by Rezi Plumbing and Heating, now offering fantastic deals for water heaters and furnaces to enable us keep bringing you this community untold story. Please support Diversity TV by becoming a member today and get our members only special on www.diversitymark.ca. Be the first to get our community newscast as it happens. Please subscribe and hit the bell notification on our Diversity TV YouTube channel. We are on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn and TikTok. Our website is www.diversitymag.ca. See you next week because when it's Friday, it is your newscast from Diversity TV.